We're live. Yay! Welcome back to the Digital Trends. Uh, oh, see, new I'm members. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, this is the DMM Connection, the third edition. I'm Paula. And I'm Bruno. But wow, we have some news today. Uh, because we're ending our course here at Laguerra, we have some new members coming in, and we're really proud. We are all behind the camera. We are looking to thousands all Thousands of people here. Thousands and thousands, <laughs> like four. No, I'm kidding. Like ten Thanks people. for coming, guys. Thanks for coming. They're going to participate, doing some comments during the live. I hope so. So really, everyone pay attention, okay? And this don't is forget, this is your monthly show about digital marketing trends. And we are from the DMM Club, also really important to talk about. Yes, digital the Media Marketing Club. See? At Langara you know. College. Yeah, we are both students and we've been to the, in the, in, in the club for the past year and a half. Maybe we are almost finishing and we have some new members that probably the next live we're going to see some new, new Doing things. so much better than us. Yeah. Serious. Kick our ass. Make us proud, guys. <laughs> okay, first topic. Are you ready? Kind of. Oh. Let's go talk about Game of Thrones. Who doesn't like talk about Game of Thrones? Uh, I, I, don't, I, I don't like it. it. I, don't. I never saw Game of Thrones before. So, yeah, but I know. You're not a normal, normal person. Sorry. I, I am. Sorry, not. Anyway, but you know what happened in the last few episodes about the cup of coffee that wasn't seen. Yeah, I think everyone, even the ones that don't watch it, like me, uh, we saw about the cup, coffee cup that I realized it. Actually, you told me before this live happens uh, that it wasn't even a coffee cup. It was a tea cup. Yes. Right? Yeah, actually, uh, why you're talking about this you know, digital marketing show. So. Uh, basically, it's about branding because uh, that, well, first of all, wasn't a cup of coffee and wasn't from Starbucks. So can you imagine this, the strength of this brand that everybody was talking the last few weeks? Uh, and everybody thinking about what the, it was a viral action, a marketing strategy or something like that. And actually, they were just watching, oh my God, what's, gonna, what's happening now? So... I think the beautiful thing to uh, see here is that when people see a cup of coffee, they think straight off Starbucks. Yeah. So that's the strength or the brand the, the branding they're imagine doing. Imagine how many millions they earn in media in free media, and spontaneous media. So. Yeah, I think the CEO of the company was really happy yeah. because of that. But it was like a really bar close to the. Shooting scene? It, it was from a local coffee shop in Ireland because they were shooting there at the moment. So, for so a guy of the local coffee shop. Yeah. <laughs> he made a cup of tea and people thought it was a cup of coffee from Mr. Super famous, Rock. right? Right, yeah. For Starbucks. Yeah, I think they earn a lot of uh, free publicity that is really good and that's the power of branding. So, they made their work really well for people to see a cup of coffee and relate uh, right right away with the, uh, the brand, right? Your position in people's mind like the first coffee brand ever. So when you think about coffee, what do you think of Starbucks? So that's the power of marketing. Oh yeah, that's Pretty the power good. of branding. Pretty cool. Okay, next topic. Are you ready? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Google makes podcasts searchable by automatically transcribing them. So what's Slightly. happening now? So um, in the last few years, Google was testing the voice command. So we can see Google Home and tools like that that are using voice command. And now they are transcri transcribing podcasts using the keywords that people use during their, their shows. Uh, and then you, when you make a search, on Google, you can find some podcasts because of these keywords that they are using. So that's, at the same time, pretty cool and scary. Because they are listening us all the yes. time. Yeah. So it's not only, it's cool that they're transcribing and getting keywords, so the, our search is kind of easier after that, and they can suggest some podcast things for us, but at the same time, 
Like, they listen to us all the time. Yeah, the argument is that they are using that to improve the user experience. But, of course, they want to listen what we're saying, which words, which brands we're talking about. So every time you use a Google service, you are authorizing them to use your, your data and all everything you share with them. So you have to take care of that because they are listening to us right now. You're using their tool. <laughs> have you ever been to a situation like you say, I want to buy some shoes, close your phone, and then next thing? Every ad you have is like about a shoe. No, it happens today. We were talking about McDonald's in the class, and then I just saw an ad of McDonald's. Like, oh my god! Oh my god! And this is this is really, really creepy. Yeah, this is weird. really creepy because you don't decide what people cannot listen when you have your phone put by. Yeah, because you authorize in the first place, so. But you authorize without even knowing that you're like saying yes or something like listen to me all the time. Because and you don't if you read don't, the, this contract. So. Yeah, for sure. And even when you don't say no, you cannot use the apps or whatever. So Yeah, exactly. Or you authorize or you don't use it. So, so you, you your stay choice. out of it, yeah. They take your choice away. It's like next. Next. Okay, the new Facebook currency is now even closer. And this is a, one of the topics that Bruno like really likes to talk about. Yeah, He's always because talking I brought about this one in, uh, in the first or second show, I don't remember. Uh, in the first. Yeah, so it happens like this past week, I guess. Um, the Facebook Holding, it's a company from Facebook, um, their financial company. They register in a Swiss company called Libra Networks, and this company is responsible now for uh, this project of the cryptocurrency from Facebook. Mm -hmm. So basically what's going to happen in a few months or a year, I guess, uh, we're, we'll have this cryptocurrency from Facebook, and people like can sell stuff from WhatsApp. Like If you want to buy something from me, I can sell it for you. I can pay using your WhatsApp. Or by Instagram. Yeah, because well. Facebook owns Instagram, WhatsApp. That is one of the most uh, useful chat apps in the world. Facebook, of course. You know what? I'm super curious about the name of this. Me too. <laughs> Me too. So I don't know what. Send us on the comments. What do you guys think is gonna be the name of this currency? Do you guys have any ideas? Everyone that is here. Facebook coin, like. Face coin? No. <laughs> Weird. Face coin. <laughs> <laughs> Oink. Maybe? I don't know. No. Yeah, I have no idea about the name. I really hope that Mark Zuckerberg comes with a really good name. Yeah. Yeah, no, no idea. Any idea, guys? Seriously. Mark Dollar. No. Oh, shut up. No. <laughs> He's not as egocentric like this. Of course he is. But so to, he's have super a, egocentric. to have a cryptocurrency with his own name? Yes, we could do that. Oh my god, if it's, if it's a Mark coin, I'll give you a present. Seriously. Mark Dollar. Mark Dollar. <laughs> and then it's going to be Mark Dollar at the market share today. Let me see, let me check. No, seriously. If it's Mark uh, Dollar, I'll give Bruno a present. Okay. Okay? With the Mark More Dollar. Than one dollar. I'll give you a Mark Dollar. <laughs> no, I'll. Okay. Okay, next, next one. We're doing really fast today. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Have some appointment after this one? Yes, I do have it. Okay, sorry. Let's run. <laughs> okay, this one I think I like the most to talk about. It's about Apple TV Plus uh, coming this fall. And they're coming with really, really big things in the, in the entertainment industry, like Oprah, mm -hmm. Jennifer Aniston, Love and. Her. Who? Jennifer Aniston. Okay, <laughs> Love her. Uh, friends and oh yeah, you, you call her Jenny? Jen. <laughs> Jen? Yeah. Okay. Every time you call her, hey, hi Jen, how are you? And stuff like that. <laughs> See new members. <laughs> okay. Uh yeah, they're coming with their own streaming uh service. Uh they're coming strong with really, really big names in the industry. The question is why Apple knowledge company no for their phones, computers are coming for streaming TV. But but they already uh, did streaming for music. 
That's with true. Apple Music. So I think they just uh, have yeah, they more. Have other like educational contents, books, and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, about the uh, iTunes. So they already are in, in this like in streaming world, but the, now they're starting uh, to be a competition for Netflix, Amazon, and more competition are coming with Disney streaming and Fox as well, right? Yeah, and of course the cable is dying, so no one want to sign up for cable TV anymore, and the streaming is increasing a lot. And we are talking today with Adrian, my business strategy instructor, about this, because Talos has a um, service called Peak TV that is a streaming service that works like a cable TV but you can choose all the channels you want for ten dollars so it's pretty good you can choose all the only the channels you want to watch because every time you sign like a cable TV you watch like two channels and have 20 that you pay so yeah and this option is really good because it's cheap it's customized and I think this is the future of the streaming because you, you, in the near future you can choose like, oh, I just want to sign with Apple TV, Fox and Disney at the same time and but if this you, is my, my path. Yeah, but if you st uh, stop to really count the amount of money that you're going to spend with like three or four uh, streaming service, yeah, you pay why. for cable TV. No, but that's why I'm telling that because someone... Only Netflix, like 17 bucks. I know. If you sum all of them, you're going to pay more than $100. Yeah, it's so crazy. So you have to... You need a provider that gather all of this streaming service and you pay like $20, $30 and you can watch like five or six of them. Hmm. Like Big TV is doing regular channels, you know. So yeah. probably gonna have with this with this streaming service. We have a question, Lies. What is your question? Can I say from here? Right? Yeah, if you just if you... screen. Uh, no, I'm going to talk about not just the on demand, but one thing that is not finished about the cable TV. It's because they are not able the on demand. They are not able to cover the sports and the live news. It's something that they cannot do it because it's supposed to be live. So yeah. when it happens, the broadcast will cover. So the on demand will cover movies, soap operas, TV shows, but sports and live TV, no, it's impossible. Yeah, but in this case uh, of Talos from mm -hmm. Big TV, something happened. Uh, we are we are not live anymore. It's like don't scare us. It's like. It's Are we live or not? It's working. It's working. Okay. Okay. So just not a short question. Keep going. Are we live or not? Okay. So you, you <laughs> need a new computer. Sorry to tell you that right now. <laughs> just in a live session. Stop playing all the service. Throw this yeah. thing on the wall, please. <laughs> More than one, okay? More than one. Okay, who's seeing us live here? No, no, we are back. We are okay, back. Okay, great. Here's so, <laughs> keeping my thoughts about the what you said. So, Talos also has this special special service. Mm -hmm. for, for example, for Game of Thrones this season, they had a, a deal with the Crave, the channel. Mm -hmm. They buy an extra twenty dollars to watch, have all, HBO, HBO, HBO two, and I don't know what else. But you can watch Game of Thrones anytime you want, and movies, and another uh, uh, brand released movies like uh, Avengers, and I don't remember what else. But okay. It, it's really good. I think the streaming service gonna it's going to this path because it's impossible you sign with all the services at the same time, you know. Yeah, but I and you don't want to choose like this. One. Oh my god, I want to watch this from Amazon and this from Netflix, so what do I do? I really like uh, Netflix shows like Lucifer that we are both really fans and they released their fourth season. <laughs> and it's really good and Lucifer was a really uh, odd uh, content for Netflix because they bought the rights from another company because the other company just ended and they, 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 canceled, canceled, the yeah, they canceled the show. And they have a lot of fans uh, asking for it. So Netflix saw a really good like business there and they bought the rights. And the fourth season 
uh, they had more um, views than one of the Game of Thrones uh, episodes. And that's like comparing Game of Thrones like here and Lucifer like here. Game of Thrones is the most downloaded show. Show ever. Planet. Yeah. So having Lucifer to have uh, more views one day than Game of Thrones is a really big deal. And, and Netflix is really connected with all these different shows. But also Netflix know how to engage with the public. Because they, they, they create social media micro or... videos with the actor and stuff like that, reactions on Twitter and on Did you see that they release it every minute, every second that was first but what's on the screen? No. No, yes. <laughs> Netflix did it. It's, they their social media is really well prepared yeah, to deal out. and they're really sarcastic. So they don't say they don't do this kind of content without a really big background to support it. And they did it now with Lucifer and it was And you amazing. haven't watched it yet, but this final, not final, uh, fourth spoilers. season is pretty good, so much better than the, the other producers. Because now they have so budget. Not, but not just because of the quality of the image and sound and everything, makeup or whatever, but the, the script and everything is so much better. It's really good. So they made a good deal buying the this TV show. Do you have Amazon Prime? No. I have it and I never watch anything on there. I, I think it's not as easy to go through everything as I am reading. How much it costs? I have no idea. Wow. I forgot to cancel. That's the dream, you know? <laughs> I don't know where my money is going. So. No, no, no. I completely, because we have for free, whoever is new, yes. we have for free for, like, for six, six months. months. And I completely forgot to Cancel. So I had to pay. I think it was like thirty nine okay. bucks That's for a year. Excuse. No, it was like thirty nine bucks for the whole year. Forty three. I just canceled. You canceled? <laughs> See, I completely. It, it just escaped my mind. So yeah. I had to pay. But I'm really, really, really anxious for the Disney one. Well, because Disney has ABC. Disney has a lot of other Marvel, Star Wars. Oh, yeah. yeah. The Disney. I really hope that it's not as as expensive that I, as I think that they're going to charge. But yeah. Okay. That's a good one. Good topic. Yeah. Oh my God, I love. This Let's topic. make a live just about that. I, I could <laughs> talk about forty minutes ago there. Like serious. Okay. Next one. Instagram launches a Canadian test urging more focus on photos, less on likes. So I don't know if you guys know or notice, but in your Instagram accounts in Canada, you cannot see the number of likes anymore. Uh, so Canada is the test country about this new feature. I can't, you cannot call it a feature, but a, a trend, I guess, because mm -hmm. they don't want to promote anymore this like culture where influencers are no because uh, because of the amount of likes they have but also for the quality of the pictures they produce because the is, is basically about pictures right yeah and I, and I read about it that a lot of people were complaining about how they they were like getting really anxious because of likes yeah. and it was a kind of a becoming a disease and uh, especially on the younger generation like the new the new generation because they post a photo and they come up like every 15 seconds if i'm not mistaken just to look how many likes they got check oh my god i don't have likes and yet. they get really anxious and i think with the amount of uh, information that we get every single second of the day the newer generation they are the, a really anxious generation they also have the depression uh, project did you see this one they create a project on Instagram uh, to help people with depression, if you're depressed or something like that. I don't know exactly how it works. Okay. Someone saw this one? Go. I just wanted to add a point on uh, Instagram. Likes, like the person who is posting the picture, wow. the person who is posting the picture, they can see their own likes actually. Only yeah, the person, yeah, uh, only the person uh, can't see the other person's number of likes. They can just see that people have liked that. And business account can see the likes of everybody. Because okay. I think for business, it's important because you're selling this for another companies or whatever. So you have to prove in some way how uh, how influent you are. So, but for business account, they kept that. But for regular people, 
person on profiles, not anymore. Yeah, I think when it, only you can see the likes, not everyone else, the peer pressure goes really down. So if it was a picture and it's a fail, only I know it's a fail, you know? Like, oh, yes. uh, can you explain the pressure? Yeah, logic? it's like this. If you search about uh, death, you appear automatic, automatically a message. You feel alone. You need to talk with someone, and they put like a group. And you, and we, when you click, someone will help you with some positive message. And it helps with like, for example, girls who search about the uh, anorexia. Yeah, you know, like, it likes automatic. You feel like you're sad or your influence it's negative, it's like it's blocked. Yeah, the, and that, many yeah. studies show that this is because of social media, not just because of that, but it helps a lot. Mm -hmm. Because once you see it, you're not receiving likes, oh my god, no one loves me. So, you yeah, know, I'm so ugly, weak I'm mind, bad, I'm too. No, sorry, not weak thing. mind, but uh, for, for those who think this is really important, so it can be something really bad. So. It, it becomes, it has a, a bigger um, pressure when you have this. Social kind of, pressure, right? Yeah, social pressure. So, the new even now, our generation, we always think that we're not too good, that we're not too skinny, too fat, too. It's always too. We never are in the really good state of mind because we look at the Instagram. So, I have one friend that now she's an influencer in Brazil because uh, she's. Um, Overweight, and she she started talking about it. Like you don't have to feel pressure to lose weight because sometimes you're overweight, but you're extremely healthy, even healthier than when I was like 30 kilos less than I'm now. And I can show all you you my my blood tests and everything. So I think people are coming more about exceptions than. And this is a really good thing that, that they're doing, like, because we have uh, suicide rates are going up all the time, especially like here in Canada, when it's uh, the winter time, it's crazy. So I, I really think people uh, should have the opportunity to talk to someone just to relieve this pressure and then maybe breathe again and, and start thinking be uh, better thoughts and everything. So this is a really. I think they gave a really normal. nice step to to finish with this like culture and you're you're better than someone else because you have more likes. That's not reality. Yeah, that's not reality. Actually, uh, do you think uh, this is going to help? Because uh, if they had removed the number of likes, they should have removed for everyone. Like if they are showing it for the particular person, still they'll be feeling that okay, I am. They are getting to the number of likes. And they'll be thinking that okay, I am receiving this much number of likes. So I think if they might have removed the number of likes, even for the person who is posting the picture, it might have been. But I think uh, if you really take out every like, like to see it, you kill a, the Instagram business. Yeah. Because okay. even though they're trying to help, they're, they're they taking have to measure. Take money anyway. But they have to have a measurement to see the really. Uh, I, not ideal, but the, the how influent they really yeah, are. Yeah, how influent they really are. Because so, uh, when you talk about influence, I, I think it's the most important is not how many likes you have. It's of course uh, the engagement that you have. So we see many people like with uh, thousands of followers and no one comments. So that's bizarre. So it's not a real engagement, you know. So. Uh, that's why I think it's a really nice step to stop with this ridiculous culture with, of likes are really important and focus on the strength of the content to make it produce really nice content and in Instagram case, uh, produce better pictures. Yeah, that's a really good, uh, really good um, topic to talk about because... Do you have a question? No, we have some comments, but you can feel okay. your part. It's okay, you can say the comments. Oh yes, there is a comment about the Facebook currency you talked about. Louder, so, please. It is from Kyrul Hassan, and he says, about the new currency, I think they will come up with a fresh name, which is not similar to coins or dollars, because he thinks that it would help people perceive it in a different way, as compared to what they generally talk about money and dollars. That's true. I think must be something really disruptive. 
uh, I was just kidding about the name, of course, but I, I really believe that they're gonna create something disruptive. You know, they're not in the market just to play, so they are coming with. <laughs> it's a, their strong feature is marketing and innovation, so they're exactly. they're coming strong. Um, Great question, thank you, Lynn. And I don't know if it's a man or a girl, but it's okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, next topic. Anyone has anything about uh, to say about Instagram? No? Great. Instagram, <laughs> we, we should have a new music. feature. <laughs> yeah, we should. <laughs> because we always need some tiny bits of stuff. Okay, Instagram test letting you scroll through videos. Yeah, this is just a new feature that. Of course, it helps a lot because sometimes you don't want to watch the whole video to see what's going to happen in the ending, so you can just pass through the whole scroll and see what's going to happen. This is amazing because one of the things that I hated about videos in Instagram is that like, sometimes I only want to see the end again because I, I just didn't pay attention. And... Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem live session, right? Yeah. <laughs> See, now that we need like this, thank you. Thank you. And oh I God. hate it just to have to watch the video, whole video again. Like, no, for why? me, the voice is like you're watching and so waiting for the ending, and the end is a crap. And then, oh my God, why are, have I watched this? Yeah, it, 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 scroll is a good feature. Yeah, good feature. I hope they keep this for him. Okay, next one. Okay, is this the comeback for Snapchat or not? They came from the ashes. Right? The Snapchat baby filter. I don't think one like influencer did it. Try baby no. no, I didn't. Oh God, I because didn't I know that I'll be really addicted to it. We have so to, we have to take try it. We haven't have tried the baby See? filter. <laughs> it's amazing, guys. It's really funny. You should try it. And also, we should make a, a picture of us with baby filters and put it next thumbnail. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. But I think uh, Snapchat created a really good uh, feature with the filter. Uh, it is super uh, innovative. Uh, they weren't in the market anymore. Like, who was the the? If you see, like everyone using Instagram Stories instead of uh, Snapchat, and now. They're really coming back. I think, but this is like completely personal, that people record it at Snapchat, save it on their phones, it's and post happening. it on Instagram. It's happening. Because exactly. I don't have Snapchat anymore. Yeah. And I saw everything on Instagram. I used to have Snapchat and I had to download it again to see to use the filter. But I realized that the filters on Snapchat, I don't know if you guys agree, are so much better than Instagram. They yes. are so yeah. cool, really nice, really fun, and so more interactive than Instagram. Because Instagram just puts stuff in your face and that's okay. But on Snapchat, like they, they transform you like in a raccoon talking and stuff like that. So it's really different. It's more engaging. But you said something right. People are just using Snapchat, downloading, and posting on Instagram. Yeah, because you know what? I think uh, Instagram, Instagram Stories is just a feature inside of a really big app. It's like it's more than that. And Snapchat is just the videos with the filter. Okay, I was a really Snapchat addict before, not anymore. But I realized that Snapchat has like a really small group of people who love Snapchat, you know, that younger than us, way younger than us. My brother is 15, 16, and Instagram is okay, but Snapchat is like their their whole world. Yeah. Exactly. It's super niche right now. Exactly. But I really, I would like that this, um, I don't know, like Snapchat make good efforts to be again on the market because he's the one that innovate with this story thing and everyone stole, stole it and I don't know, because like Instagram has like more, um, like more, more benefit of it, even though Snapchat was the one who invented it or who in implemented. You know what? Uh, turns out that Snapchat all, were always for teenagers, but many people started using it for teenagers were using, it, and these people left, and the teenagers still are still using. So I know that some 
Uh, Indians still like Snapchat, right? I know there's a lot of Indians that use it. Oh, yeah, because in, my, in yeah. one of my, my classes, classes, there's a lot of Indians. Like, uh, who uses my social media These class? guys, you are telling no, but I know it's true. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, when I was in the social media class, the instructor asked, who uses this uh, this uh, yeah. social media, that, so and Snapchat, done, Snapchat. only the Indians. Like yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, some of them. But in Brazil, it's totally that. Yeah, it's that. In India also, people might use it, but very small group of people, and that also mainly for just using the filters and downloading it. Just to send nude pictures, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can say that, I'm not sure. No. <laughs> <laughs> you just oh say my that. god, Bruno. Bounty. Bounty, yes, exactly. Bounty. Bruno is not coming here. No, Bruno is not coming in the next one. I won't make him anymore. Serious, okay? <laughs> so why? Okay, guys, next topic. <laughs> Take a look at the audience increasing. <laughs> yeah, that's the point. Separate switch. Uh, oh, 10. <laughs> See? Okay. Um, Our final topic now. No. <laughs> okay, a serious topic now to oh, ice yeah. break this, ice this <laughs> mass. It's right to here. create the ice. Right? Okay. okay, this is really serious. Uh, the new policies uh, for live sessions on YouTube, they just came out. Why are you laughing? Because <laughs> YouTube made something that is bad for us. Yeah. Because we were using a smartphone to our live sessions and now we had to use a computer. Yeah, people uh, with less than a thousand subscribers cannot use mobile devices to do a live, uh, a, a, a YouTube live. It's really bad for us because we were doing lives uh, with a mobile device, with a cell phone, but... It's more convenient and easier than, of course, a computer. But I agree with this new policy from YouTube, like, 100%. Yeah, it's a, uh, the same movement uh, Facebook is doing right now uh, because of what happened, not just in New Zealand, that strategy of the guy. That the terrorism attack. Or, yeah, terrorism attack. The same happened in Brazil like one week before of this crazy guy. And uh, there they create this policy just to try to filter uh, a little bit more. As best as possible. Yeah, as best as want. possible uh, and avoid this kind of situation. So you, you need to have an, a minimal authority to create a live session. Uh, but otherwise, uh, just saw some people on Google forums uh, just commenting that they have like niche channels uh, that they have like five uh, five hundred and seven hundred uh, followers and they are really closed and they can't do live sessions anymore. Of course, it's really bad for them, but probably better for the rest of the world that does, doesn't have to watch scenes like that. Yeah, if you didn't see uh, one of the terrorism attacks in New Zealand, the terrorists showed all the attack in the camera on his forehead. And he broadcast it on Facebook. And he broadcast on Facebook. And it was terrible. It's not something that people need to see. It's not something that people need to support. And that's why they're having these uh, new policies to protect the audience and also to try to not get these people, these terrorists, to have an audience for themselves. Yeah, basically, you have to confirm um, some informations uh, that are important to Google, to not just Google, but also Facebook, to verify your identity. So I hope that it helps. For situations like that, of course, this guy is going to try something. If they want to do it, they're going to yeah. find a way, but I hope it helps a little bit. Yeah. I think that's the good thing about it is that these big companies, these multinational companies, they're looking out for this kind of uh, situation. Yeah, and Facebook right? has had a, a huge break because of that. Many companies canceled it contracts with Facebook. Also, there's a person in USA, a city councilor, I don't know what, what she is, but she's, no, she's a senator, I guess, I don't mm -hmm. remember. But she, she's trying to create some projects and, and stuff like that against companies like Google, Amazon, and Facebook that detain so much power in the world right now. 
because yeah, they have the power they of leak information. Lots of information, exactly, uh, and they allow situations like that. So, on her mind, she's trying to avoid something even worse because they because can decide I think the future of the world. People are getting crazier and crazier for attention. So this is a way to not give, like, free-handed the attention that this really bad person wants. So I think it's a really good policy. It really is uh, it's not good for us at all because we have to figure out other ways to do the, this life for you guys. But it's in some ways, it's good for everyone else. So we are 100% uh, with this new policy. You have my life, good one. Mine too. And I'm really picky. And we're done for today. Thank you so much for your audience. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you for the new members that are coming. Uh, next uh, next uh, live show, we're going to have some new members uh, in front of the screen, not With only uh, behind it. Uh, me and Bruno, we are going to be back on... We have a date already, right? June? And Someone next, else? Next month. Next month. <laughs> <laughs> next month, we have another... Uh, Stay tuned, you're going to see. Oh yeah, uh, like what, like us here, uh, so we can have more than a thousand subscribers and do it yeah, for our mobile phones. Also, uh, go to our Instagram account is at dmmlangera. Just follow us there. We post contents every day. Go to our website. We have uh, every weekly contents on the blog. Yeah, every Thursday we usually you have weekly content. Uh, follow us everywhere. Thank you for your audience and see you next month. See ya, bye-bye.